So don't do this at home. Now we'll have high voltage as <laughs> Short something? Okay, retry. So don't do this at home. Now, as soon as I turn on this, what the? F what is this? Ow! One of these days. And here is my handicraft. Let's measure and see where we are. It's higher. I made my own taser back in my old video. The arcs can jump one. You don't bring your finger close to a stun gun when it's running. Everyone can build something like this or even stronger, but it might not be legal everywhere. Let's. Ch Hi, I completed my one Tesla kit assembly and I'm excited to try it together. Let's dim the lights. You should always keep a proper distance from Tesla coil. Let's play Pink Panther. <laughs> might actually follow the standards. So if she was in fact electrocuted, then why? Well, maybe she dropped the wall adapter in the water, completely submerged it, and then plugged it in. Oh. So I guess this... Oh, this is pretty dead. See, soapy water is much more conductive than regular water. It shorts everything together, and with everything soaked, it just takes the electricity straight from the contacts to your fingers. And with you standing in the top, close to the earth, it runs through your body to earth and can shock you. But I don't think that's what happened either. She was an intelligent girl. She wouldn't just pick up a fully soaked wall adapter and plug it into the power. Might be something else. Okay. Slippery. I could take it off. Ow! On this circuit, that's responsible for the timing. And you can see a tiny negative sign beside it. That means that that side needs to be connected to ground or negative. Uh, yeah. Box. The tip of the gun here simulates a human finger. Always be careful with your tools. Now, they usually zap a completely assembled unit. But sometimes it's also beneficial to zap a bare board like this one and see what happens on the actual board. Never hold the board you're zapping with your hand because the ESD will jump to your body through the board. Now to check my body tolerance, I set the output to minimum. At zero volts, it's pretty... Oh, I set it to maximum lethal in your mouth, but I can do that too. Stupidity, my elbow was sitting on one of these wires and the current went through my tongue to my elbow. Even I have a solution that will make you work out for dear life. It's called work out or die. It's a simple device. It's a belt that you tie around your belly with a tiny device that senses your motion. As long as you move, you're okay. But if you stop for any reason, it'll zap you like a mother You will move no matter what or else you will feel the pain. The device may often pulse trigger. The belt is very hard to open. It's made of very durable material resistance to sharp objects and it cannot be cut. Oh. So you will run until the batteries die or you die. Just kidding, we have never had failed batteries. Please don't hurt anyone, including yourself. The device is very simple. It runs on two AA or AAA batteries and has two electrodes on the bottom and turns on with a switch. Now if you don't move, it says... I made this simple circuit and I'll plug it in. Now the circuit is hot and the voltage is on the... Something you must never forget is that some capacitors like electrolytic ones are polarized and you must never connect them backwards or they will blow up. Now I have replaced the capacitor on my circuit and I'll plug it in. In addition to polarity, the capacitors must be rated properly to be able to handle the voltage across them, or they will blow up, obviously for you. To measure the 120 volt AC, I put the meter on AC, and I measure the voltage. Oh my god! Sometimes when you're probing a line, you might touch the probes, but never forget about the voltage on the probes. 
and each pair is attached to one of these cables which we can plug them into the wall power plug. Please join me for the first time to hear how it sounds. And one, two, three, four. It definitely made me sound like a rock star, although it feels more like an electric chair than a guitar. It the head and rotated and mounted on the tail by piercing into the tail. Well, never pierce a hole towards your body. This tail is a little bit tough, so I'm going to drill a hole into it. Do not drill, pierce, cut or do anything dangerous towards your body parts. And if you think the scene you just saw was so fake, lame and unreal, then let me show you my hand. This is a stab wound from many years ago, when I tried to pierce open something with a knife and the knife tripped. And this holds. So for example, if I connect my 12 volt supply here to the primary and charge it and then disconnect it, the voltage of the primary should jump up, creating a huge voltage on the secondary here that should create a spark. Let's try it out. Hmm, there is nothing. Is there actually a voltage? Well, my theory was right. Obviously, there is high voltage on the secondary. But the problem is that that high voltage pulse period is so short, it can't create an arc. But there's worse. Let's try it out. Wow, this is wild. You can see how far... It's a strange pain. It's as if somebody is stabbing your finger. But the blade, it doesn't stop there. It keeps going through your veins until it reaches your heart. I love it. I made it look more like a taser by gluing these nails to it. Let's look at it spark now. This gap is quite wide. Let me measure it for you. Well, you know, metal is generally conductive and electrons always find the easiest path to travel. So I... Okay, let me show you how well it works. First, without the anti -pay. If I can just pass these cables under the table here. Always finish your wiring before connecting to your power supply. Now instead I'm going to use my power limited supply up here that will drive this pump that's made of this DC brushed motor here. And it's going to run fluid into the cylinder back here that will move it around. Now I enable the power supply. Always double check your connections. Using the knife is dangerous and will not work. I've seen some women back in Iran that burn their arm hair off on a stove and I'm gonna try that. I have my lighter fuel here and my fire extinguisher in case anything goes wrong. Just put a dab of this on my mustache and I'm ready to go. This is a f***ing air horn. Make yourself familiar with your tools. The fuse box should be somewhere in the... The hood has a stand that has to be securely placed into the hood hole. 100 ohm resistor and connect it to the output to see how the waveform changes. A quick calculation shows having 170 volt across 100 ohm generates 300 watts of power. It's like having a 300 watt lamp within your fingers. It burns your skin very quickly. Now I use pliers to hold the resistor. See the output voltage drops, but with very small ripples because there is a lot of filtering. Wow, I was holding that. I let it cool down for a while and The ceramic core takes a long time to cool down and now it... The hell? The hell? Why bad things happen to good people? Come on. Go. Go. Ah, Sheer luck! Thanks to my flimsy wire connections to the transformer that fell off quickly, I only sustained some third degree burns. My stupid long sparklers made my structure top heavy, which of all people fell right on top of me.
I leave a bunch of safety tips on my website, but such experiments are not worth dying for, so don't do it. First, you plug it to the inverter. <laughs> Anytime you connect a power harness, connect it to your load side first, so you wouldn't short your power supply or shock yourself. <laughs> here that I can feel, so it's impossible for this to excite a fluorescent bulb. <laughs> Now this string is one that I couldn't fix with the lighter sparker and doesn't turn on either. Let's try the taser now. You should know better not to get too close to high voltage. Now, you heard me. Yeah, hell of a pain. Okay, come on. Sorry guys, the pain is too much for me, but I'm sure it's... It opened! It opened! Ah. Install GFCI in bathrooms, people!